So let's take a look at a graphical representation of Hoshin Connery. We start in the upper right side where we talk about the mission statement and the quality policy. We identify the different elements of this statement. And we look at the relationship of these elements to the specific corporate-wide strategies. Now again, we might only have three to five key strategies, but we want to look at the relationship between the two. And then we cascade the strategies down to the next level where we look at the relationship between the company-wide objectives. Now, this might also be risk management objectives that resulted out of the SWOT analysis, where we identified strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats. We cascade these objectives down to the next level, and we look at the relationship between the objectives and the goals. Again, these might be specific goals related to risk management of certain projects. We might be looking at overall average risk priority numbers of projects or product lines. We cascade these goals down to the next level, and we look at the relationship between these goals and the actions or the Kaizen events. Here we specifically develop actions or improvement activities to reduce risk, mitigate the risks. Now, what are the benefits of using the Hoshin Conry process?